Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Field Tested. In this episode, we are going to field test and review the Pure Outdoor LED USB headlamp. That is a lot of letters. This device has been part of my standard carry for over two years. So not only are we going to put it through the ringer for you, but we're going to do that with a device that's already got two years under the belt. So stay tuned, watch to the end to see where to get them, how to get them, and what else you need to know about this device. But first, let's take it to the field and field test it. So this device has five different light settings on it. The first is the super bright setting. Second is the normal brightness with the white light. The third setting I call seizure inducement. Fourth setting, so the red LEDs tend to use that for reading maps when you're in the dark in the field. The fifth setting is flashing the red LEDs, really good for signaling. It has an adjustable headband. It also has quite a degree of angle that you can put on the lamp itself once it's on your head. As I said off the beginning, as part of my standard carry, because of the super light weight of this unit, I carry it in my jacket pocket, I carry it in my vest, whatever I happen to be using for the hike or walk that I'm going on, I've got this guy with me. Now, one of the things we wanted to show you is also how the battery holds up in normal outdoor conditions. So we ran a time lapse outside for you to be able to see how the battery holds up in real field conditions. It was minus two degrees Celsius. It was about 90% humidity outside. So pretty good conditions to test out the battery life. So while the specs on this rate for two and a half hours on high battery mode, that's the super bright setting. The test we did was with the medium brightness setting and we actually got it pretty close to six hours, which is not bad for a hiking light. Now again, you gotta keep in mind, this sucker's only about 60 grams. It doesn't weigh much at all. We'll put the stats down on the bottom here, but as you can tell, not too heavy, recharges off of USB. So you know what, you've got any kind of USB based power that you're gonna use for your smartphone or anything else, you can also repower this. Now, like we said at the end, we're gonna tell you where to get these. We buy them off of monoprice.com in the US, $10 US for one of these units. That's an awfully good price. Like I said, I've had this for over two years Super reliable, never had a problem. So I rate this a big thumbs up. I encourage you to just grab one for 10 bucks US, keep it in your kit. It's always gonna come in handy. All right, thanks for watching. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at LandMonkeyGC.